Guys, today I'm gonna do, um, just go over a few basics on Hermit Crab Care. Um, the tank first. Um, you want, if you have <clears throat> a couple Hermit Crabs, it's best to have a 10 gallon tank or bigger. The bigger the better. I have a 10 gallon tank. Um, nice slide top. Um, the food is also very important. Without the food, your crabs will die. Obviously, like all living beings. A treat. You don't have to have treats, but I like to have treats for my crabs. Fresh and salt water. It's also very important. Extra shells, because with, without them, the crabs will get in fights, end up killing each other. It's very, not injuring themselves. Climbing things are also important. I made my own in the back there. Piece of wood with slats in it. Went to the beach last year and found that. It was a piece of dressed wood, but then I cut little slats in it. Um, little shell. I mean, I'm not a little shell. Pretty big shell back there. Some wood for them to climb on. Around the shell. And the shell's kind of like a little hut. But a lot of them are in that hut right now. It's a nice little pine. Um, and this, this is a little rock climbing thing my hermit crabs like to climb on. Obviously, you can see one climbing on it right now. Um, those rocks were free. I went to the beach, and it's actually called conch, 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 something like that. It's, like, something that forms on the bottom of the ocean, and I collected a bunch of that and just stacked it up in a pile. So, you know, it's also very important to, um... Keep it, keep the substrate moist. I probably need to mist mine then. You need fresh water, no chlorine, because the chlorine will kill them. And that's really about it for Hermit Crab Basics. If you have any questions, please subscribe.